Hey, what's going on, everybody? Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy, just Happy Holidays from, from your friend Frankie, courtesy of the Frankie Slauson Show. And yes, I kind of have a little bit of a of a hoarse voice, kind of. So if I sound a little, you know, sound different than I normally do, although I've been told that regardless of how I sound, I always sound like I'm nasally. So who knows? I always sound like like a like uh, like everybody loves Raven, like Raven Model or whatnot. So who knows? But uh, I do have a little bit of a cold. Sucks it has to be on Christmas, but eh, whatever. You know, uh, it really doesn't matter. I mean, Christmas, you know, it's gonna come no matter if you're sick or not. So that's alright. It actually, I can say for a fact that uh, it was a lot worse earlier this week than it is now. So I'm actually, in some ways, getting a lot better. So. But anyway, it's time again for another DVD rant, or Frankie's DVD rant. I finally said that's the name. Whenever I do a DVD update, I'm going to have a cool title, and that's the name of the title, Frankie's DVD Rant, because I continue to rant and rave about, you know, certain movies, and, you know, whether I know a lot about them or, or not. But uh, I'm doing this DVD update because I finally got the rest of my order. If you remember the last few videos that I've been waiting to get my orders from Columbia House, uh, my huge orders and whatnot. So I, yeah, I pretty much probably got maybe all together, probably 15 to 16 different DVDs. And, and I know you probably say, holy crap, that's a lot. But you know, most of them were, were uh, Columbia House rewards, like uh, fun cash. So they really, really, really didn't cost me that much. So I got a lot of fun cash saved up in my account. So I figured, well, it's the holidays. I might as well use them up. Why not, you know? Start all over again next year, you know? But anyway, so I finally got the rest of my order. And now that I've uh, got the last two DVDs, I think, yeah, I think the last two, yeah, last two DVDs that came here a, a, about a week ago, I have, sorry I haven't done a, a, a rant for a little while, DVD rant for a while, because uh, just been busy with work and whatnot. But now since it's Christmas, got a couple of days off. So I figure, Now's the time to do a DVD update, or a DVD rant, or Frankie's DVD rant. So what I'm going to do is incorporate the rest of my order, and you'll be able to tell which is the new stuff, because the stuff I haven't even opened up yet, and then incorporate that with a couple of Christmas classics, because it is the holiday season, and uh, corporate, incorporate that as well, and, uh, oh, I don't know, uh, also with the, remember I was telling you a while back ago that I was going to start looking through my collection of movies that, you know, most, maybe some people have reviewed already, but I haven't, you know, so I figure, well, it's time to look at my vault of stuff that I have as well, because it's going to be a while, I guarantee it's going to be a while until I am able to purchase another DVD, brand new DVD, because uh, uh, I got to get caught up on some bills and whatnot, and then throughout the month of January, once January is come and gone, then I will actually be back on top and actually have enough cash to to purchase some more and maybe save up for a possibility of, of another trip. Who knows? Anyway, so here we go. First of all, I want to see how much time we got. Just so I... Okay. We're good. I can do a few DVDs here now in this first part. It will be in three parts, of course. So here we go. All right. Well, the... To finish my order that I have had for the last few DVD rants that I've done, I've been uh, talking about this order that I got from Columbia House. Well, I got a, finally got the rest of them. And I, I well, kind of put them in order a little bit, according to, well, not how I got them, but uh, the, at least the first three movies. Uh, I have some early, I got some early Chevy Chase movies. And you all remember Chevy Chase from Saturday Night Live. From all the uh, vacation movies, from did Fletch and Fletch Lives, which I also have, which we'll probably do an update on someday. Uh, anyway, I uh, I uh, was uh, fortunate enough to find some early uh, Chevy Chase films, even his first ever film, because back in the day, back in the late seventies, early eighties, he did some films with Goldie Hawn that most people have forgotten about. You know, in more serious role, serious roles, but a little with a little branch of humor back at that time. And the movies I'm talking about 
are foul play. And I have never seen these, so I don't know much about them. But I was, I'm just going to show you what I have. Foul play. Uh, with, this is his very first feature film, and it stars Goli Hawn, Chevy Chase, also Burgess Meredith, the Penguin, of course, the original Penguin. Uh, let's see who else. And uh, Dudley Moore. Uh, if you remember him from uh, Arthur and Arthur Two Other Rocks and uh, Like Father Like Son, the movie that he and Kirk Cameron did, uh, very good stuff. But anyway, Foul Play. Uh, that's the first, his very first movie feature film that he uh, was a part of. And the other is Seems Like Old Times, or Neil Simon's Seems Like Old Times with Chevy Chase, Goldie Hawn, and Charles Groton. Now, the Foul Play was from 1978. This is from 1980, and uh, it's pretty much kind of the same concept of, of foul play, except I think a little bit more raunchier, a little bit more funnier. Like I said, I haven't seen them yet. If you have seen them, if you know anybody that has seen them, please let me know what you think. Try not to spoil it for me, but let me know what you think. And the last one from the Chevy Chase series, uh, Deal of the Century, Chevy Chase, Sigourney Weaver, a very young Sigourney Weaver, way before Aliens, way before Ghostbusters. Uh, in fact, I think, what does it say, this movie was made in 1983, so this is before Ghostbusters came out, the first one. And Mr. Tap Dancer himself, Gregory Hyams. And uh, like I said, I have not seen this one either, so if you know of anybody that has, please let me know. All right. And the next one is a, well, I, I guess I can put these in, in order, I guess. Well, actually, well, yeah. This kind of fits, fits the gold. And, and these were the last couple that I got, uh, as far as the collection, anyway. Uh, a couple Steve Gutenberg classics, prior to this Police Academy or uh, Short Circuit, although that's a couple I'm going to be talking about. Uh, and a few others that he did, like Three Men and a, and a Baby and Three Men and a Little Lady which I have not got yet, but uh, who knows, maybe one day I will. Uh, movies I'm talking about, The Boyfriend School, uh, stars him, or C. Gutenberg, and it also stars Jamie Gertz, and Kyle McLaughlin, and let's see, who else? Uh, Shelley Long, as well. Once again, I have not seen this, so, I, and, and the whole part of watching these movies are, because, you know, I've always wanted to see something different, and I knew if I looked really hard enough, you know, as far as the vault of 80s and 90s classics, you know, that I know for a fact that I would find stuff that I may have seen way back in the day, you know, but don't really remember, or remember it long enough to, to know if I've seen it in full or not. So, I figure, now since, since pretty much all movies are all DVD and Blu-ray and all that stuff, why not check it out and see if I like it? And the other one, that's a classic that I have seen, that I was so happy that it came out on DVD, and, and no, I didn't just buy it because of the Olsen twins. A lot of people think, you know, like, like my full house box set, you know. I, yes, I, I can say that I own the full house box set, you know, and I'm proud to say that because it's not about the Olsen twins for me. It's about all the characters. It's no different than the Home Improvement box that I got or anything else. It's about all the characters and the story that they build up in the show to make the show a huge success. The movie I'm talking about, It Takes Two. It starts Steve Goodbird, Kirstie Alley, Mary Kate, and Ashley Olsen. And it's a very good movie. I recommend everybody to check it out. And I'll do one more review here. And the other two that I once again have seen, but now that I can say I have both one and two, uh, I've had one for a while. But now I finally got part two that I'm talking about. Johnny Five himself, Short Circuit, and Short Circuit 2. Uh, two great classic movies with a load of characters. Of course, Ali Sheedy, Steve Gutenberg, Patricia Stevens, G.W. Bailey. And of course, as you all know, Steve Gutenberg and G.W. Bailey were both in the Police Academy movies together. Uh, and Short Circuit 2 also stars Fisher Stevens and Michael McKean. And, uh, yeah, just very good movies. And, uh, like I said, Short Circuit 1 was 
a lot of it was filmed in Astoria, Oregon, in the house anyway. And then a couple scenes were filmed. They weren't all filmed in Astoria, but just a couple. And I got to go down there and check out the house, as well as the Goody House and everything else. So I was pretty surprised to know that my hotel that I was staying at was right above, or, or, the, or the house, I should say, was right above the hotel I was staying at. Just down that little highway, which I really thought was pretty cool. So, but yes, short, short circuit two, one and short circuit two. So when we come back for part two, we'll talk about some Christmas, a couple Christmas classics that I definitely recommend. And then, of course, uh, 